Hello and welcome to 2023 here on Our Wyoming Life. We got a pretty cool episode in store for you, so I hope you stick around. You can watch it all the way through, and I hope it's as cool to you as it is to me because the episode is really all about moving cows and weighing cows, and it's kind of, there's a lot of a lot of cows in this one, and. Uh, it really, it's about getting ready for the next year here on the ranch. So what I'd like to do before we get started is take a minute or so and kind of get you guys up to date on what's going on and how we're going to be moving forward uh, for this entire year. First of all, thank you very much for allowing us to take a little bit of a break. Uh, we uh, took some time off from uh, what, uh, December 31st until now to kind of get uh, a bunch of stuff in order. Uh, basically went through, worked on the website, got, uh, you know, paperwork and all kinds of crap that we have to get done, uh, done. And it gives us a little bit of a break. Uh, so I thank you for allowing us uh, to do that. But we are back, new videos now three times per week. We're gonna have videos coming out on Monday, on Thursday, and a special video, hopefully, every single Saturday for you guys. So that's a pretty big announcement. Another big announcement this year is that beef and pork sales are now open on the website to anybody. For the past year, you've had to be a Patreon supporter to uh, be able to order beef and pork. And that was because we were testing things, getting things ready for uh, the general public. But now anybody can go to our website, rwyomilife.com and order beef and pork there. So that's our second big announcement. The third one is this. If you go to our website and make sure that uh, you are signed up for our newsletter, so uh, either click the link down in the description to sign up for the newsletter, go to our website, uh, there's a link there to sign up for our newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter because in two weeks from now, we're gonna be giving away a meat package worth well over $150. And that meat package is gonna include at least 10 pounds of beef directly, well, maybe some pork too, directly from the ranch, including my favorite filet mignon. So make sure you sign up for our newsletter. We'll be picking uh, one winner out of the newsletter pool uh, to make sure that uh, you get in on the drawing, make sure that you sign up for the newsletter and uh, you'll be ready to go. So speaking of ready to go, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you very much uh, for joining us for another year on Our Bottom Life. Be sure to subscribe, follow along, explore the ranch life and escape your ordinary. <laughs>
to sell her cows and gave us an opportunity to take over the operation. And it was at that time that we bought every cow on the ranch that we could and decided to change the whole way the ranch worked. And we decided that we would make the ranch 100% direct to end consumer, which basically meant that we no longer took calves that we raised on the ranch to auction. We didn't let anybody decide how much the ranch was gonna make year to year. And everything that we raised here stayed here and was sold through our farm store or through online sales. For my wife Erin and I, it was a pretty gutsy move uh, to basically say, we don't know where our paycheck is gonna come from, but we hope that it will <laughs> come uh, through sales of directly to consumers. So. Luckily, for the past year, we've managed to kind of figure out how we were going to do that and how we were going to move forward with it. And I'm very happy to announce that this year, anybody <laughs> can go to our website, rwimelife.com, and you can order beef and pork directly from the ranch. Uh, over the last year, we actually were testing our entire operation and how to get this all working. And so you had to be a Patreon supporter in order to get beef and pork from us. And now, it doesn't matter, anybody can go buy beef and pork. So while last year on the ranch was all about changing how the ranch ran uh, from 100 years ago to now, and making a lot of changes, big sweeping changes in just one year. Uh, this year is about improving upon those changes and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, today we're actually going out and picking a new B team to go into our feedlot program. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a minute. And we're actually upping our production as well. So all last year, we finished five steers every other month. This year, we're actually bumping that up, hopefully to accommodate online sales, which are now open to anybody. And we can hopefully accommodate all the sales that are gonna come in, at least we hope we can. And one of the big things that we like to think that we're doing as well is also kind of trailblazing into a, into a new frontier of how ranches are gonna to have to work in the future. If you can't depend on markets and supply and demand and everything else, you've gotta do something to save your own industry. And that's, that's the way that we're looking at it. We're literally saving our own bacon. Don't worry guys, today's not about you. It's actually about the cows and the feedlot. So we're gonna head over there and uh, I'll show you what we got going on. All right, guys, this is our feedlot. Uh, we call it finishing school because it sounds a whole lot nicer. But what we have here is two decent sized pens. And in the back pen there, we've got the B team. In this pen, we have the A team. Now, our A team that we have right now actually just graduated into the A team, and that means they're gonna be going for processing next. These guys will go in March. So they have about 50 days until uh, they need to be completely finished and ready for butcher. Over there, if you notice, the B team side, it's a little empty. In fact, there's nobody in here. And so what we're gonna have to do today is actually select a new B team uh, based on some criteria that we've set in advance. So when we move an animal into our finishing school, the feedlot, whatever you wanna call it, uh, we wanna make sure that any animal coming in here is at least 800 pounds. And that puts us in, well, it puts us with the ability to win. And by winning, I mean that we want these cows to be as close as we can get them to about 1,200 pounds uh, when they're done, when they're ready to be butchered. So we, if we bring them in at 800 pounds, that gives them that they need to gain at least 400 pounds while they're in here. If we consider that uh, we, we average or we try to average about three pounds per day of gain, that gives us plenty of time to make sure that if they're 800 pounds when they come in, they're 1,200 pounds when they leave. But we really, there's no way to know unless we measure them or we weigh them. And that's what we're gonna be doing today first off is we're actually gonna load these guys in a trailer and get them over to get weighed on the other side of the road in our big corrals. To do that, we're gonna put them in this trailer and run them across the road. Come on guys. 
All I want in this whole life A little red house in a country wife A picnic table out on the lawn A couple of kids and a couple of dogs Work all day to half past five A chain link fence and a gravel drive When the time's ringing on my front porch It's a brand new carpet on every floor And a rope swing tied around me with a tall rope It don't sound like nothing, sure it's happening to me. Come on, get up in there. A big bathtub in my bathroom. Microwave dishwasher, too. Now that is a tight squeeze. All right, we're going to run these guys across the road. Uh, we're actually on the north side of the highway right now. Ah, I just closed you guys in the gate. Where our, <laughs> where our Airbnb is located. Uh, we actually have a little uh, RV park over here as well, but we're gonna take these guys across the road and get them weighed up so we can see what we expect to see out of them over the next 50 days. And uh, we're gonna adjust their feed input uh, requirements and everything else based on what we weigh up today. On this side of the road, uh, we've got our, I want to say our primary corrals, but really it's our corrals that have a scale. Uh, I don't have a scale set up across the road in the uh, in the feedlot. I should, but I don't yet. That's on the list for this year. A little bit of concrete work needs to be done and a little bit of dirt work probably to make it happen. But we're going to get it done this year, I hope, and that will save us uh, having to bring these guys across the road and, and, and weigh them over here. But it's okay. We will just cope and deal with what we've got. Besides, I don't know how you feel about things, but a change of scenery, it's kind of nice every once in a while. All righty, guys. Come on out. Come on, there you go. So this is our new A-team. I think they're up for the challenge, but uh, really, there's only one way to tell. And that is that we're gonna weigh them, and hopefully they are with, within the, the weight requirements that we need uh, coming up. This is our chute, this is an AeroQuip uh, squeeze chute. We're gonna be using this for weighing today. This is the Q87 chute. And we're also going to be using a true test scale, which is right here, plugs right in to the load bars that are underneath of the chute. We're zeroed out, and that means we're ready for our first of these steers. Wish me luck, because I really have no idea which way this is going to go. First winner here, number 37. Come on, kiddo. Come on. Number 37 weighs in at 994 pounds. So I basically have 50 days to put 200 pounds on this cow.
let's keep going. See if the numbers get any better. Number 63, come on up, buddy. All right, 63, doing a little bit better, 1,050 pounds. So only 150 pounds needed to put onto that cow. One. About the same. About five pounds difference. 83. Come on. Exactly the same. Wow. Well, at least they're gaining at the same rate, which is good. So all of these cows are right around that 1,050 mark or so. So that's 150 pounds that we've got to put, out, put on them over the next 50 days. You want out of there? Now we do have something somewhat entertaining happening over here and I'll share it with you guys. Um, we actually did the same thing this morning with our pigs where we ran them through, weighed them, seeing how much they need to gain uh, before they go to processing. And we ended up with four smaller pigs. These are all under 150 pounds, which we want them to be about 250 pounds. This is the first time these, ca these cows have probably ever seen pigs in their life. You guys want to say hi? I guess not. But let's head back over here. I'll show you a couple other things really quick that we're going to be doing uh, to make sure that our animals are exactly where they need to be. Includes a little bit of math, but that's okay. Okay, so those five animals weighed uh, 5,081 pounds. So the average animal weight was 1,016. Um, like I said, we want to be able to put weight on them. So if we know we have 50 days and we're averaging 1,016 minus our 1,200. So we need to put 184 pounds on these cows. We have 50 days to do it. So that's 3.6 pounds per day that these cows have to gain on average. Now we have 5,081 for a total weight. And we are gonna be bumping these cows up on our feed to about 3% of their body weight. So if I take that times 0 0.03, we have to supply them with 150 pounds of feed per day in order to get that gain to where we want it. So that's what we're gonna be doing with these guys. But really, we kind of knew that already coming into this. Weighing them really does make sense. And it, it, you, can't you can't manage what you don't measure. I've been saying that for the last couple of years. But this will actually allow us to know exactly where we needed to be. 150 pounds of feed uh, for these cows. Now that feed that we're giving them is a split. Um, we're actually splitting about 60-40 uh, between corn oats and barley is a 60%, 40% roughage. So we want hay or beet shreds or whatever else we're giving them. We got plenty of hay this year, so we're gonna be doing that. So when we mix our feed, uh, we mix it at 60% corn oats and barley along with um, uh, what we call our FBN Grow Mix, which we're getting from Farmers Business Network. And you can check that out down in the description if you really want to know what that is. But um, it's, a, it's a mix of uh, vitamins and minerals that these cows need that is supplied to us by FBN. So we mix that all together, 60% uh, corn, oats, and barley, our mix, and 40% of hay to make sure that they're getting exactly what they need. So these guys we know where they're at they're ready to go but we need a new b team and we're going to grab that from a group of cows that i like to call the scrubs And it makes sense. We've got an A team, we've got a B team, and of course we have the scrubs. Uh, we could have called them the uh, uh, varsity, junior varsity, and scrubs. I guess this could be the farm team, which would make more sense since we're on a farm. But 
these are the steers that we're still waiting on uh, to get up to that 800 pound mark. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna move these steers back into the feedlot or finishing school, get them back on a trailer and then over to where we can get them weighed uh, and figure out who is gonna be the next group that's gonna get to work for us. Something's up. They're uh, they're getting out of dodge. Looks like I'm just out here driving around. I'm trying to get them down there into that shed. That gate, or that door on that shed, there's a gate that closes that door, but we want them in there. That'll take them directly into the loading area. We can get them on the trailer and get them out of here. Easier said than done sometimes though. So they're now hanging out back up here in the corner. This is the gate we came in. We're gonna move them down that way. That went pretty smooth. Ish. Next stop for these guys, the trailer. Get in there. There we go. Good kids. Good kids. Get on the trailer. Let's go. so nice I gotta love these aero equip systems they're so nice for loading cattle <laughs> way better than what we used to have in fact back then it would take four people to do what I just did by myself I guess that's one of the cool things about having been on YouTube for as long as we have and being able to watch the progression of the ranch. I think, you know, I actually asked quite a few friends of mine over, over our little break here that we took from, uh, from Christmas until now about what was it that made people want to watch our Wyoming life. And one of the things that I got back over and over again was the, the progression of the ranch and how things have changed over the years and how we've managed to grow 
as not only a family, but as uh, a business and just a, an entity all of its own. It's kind of been a little weird. All right, so you saw me load up seven steers. In fact, we're gonna unload seven steers and we're gonna weigh seven steers. But really all I need to do is keep four of them. And I know that doesn't make any sense because in the beginning of the video, I said we were gonna actually be ramping up production and we were doing five steers every other month. So how would doing four steers this month or this time uh, be ramping up anything? And that's because uh, these are kind of our our last few steers uh, from 2020 and what we're seeing here is these guys they're kind of all over the place when it comes to weights so we want to make sure that come March when these guys go in for processing that we have something to sell and we have enough of something to sell to be able to make it worth it for everybody so what we're gonna be doing is actually finishing um, a couple of our heifers that didn't breed this last year. So there's a couple of reasons behind that. Number one, uh, we kind of need them for the farm store and for online sales. Uh, but also, if they, if they don't have a calf, uh, they're basically costing the ranch money. And at this point, we can actually <laughs> finish them I'm gonna back into something we could actually finish them and uh, and sell them uh, as meat products <laughs> and they're worth more to us than if they had a calf or if they didn't have a calf then they just cost us money so um, it's definitely when it comes to a business perspective it's the it's the it's the correct thing to do um, in the past we probably would have kept those heifers bred them back again tried to give them another chance you know um, but now it is really something that that we have to look at um, and if things cost us too much money obviously that's a slippery slope to go down And as our next group of steers heads out of the trailer into the corrals, we're reminded that each one of these animals is worth thousands of dollars. Um, at auction, prior to us finishing our own beef and everything else, it might have been worth 800. But now that we're choosing to keep these animals on the ranch, and finish them out for ourselves, selling directly to end consumer, it's a whole new ball game. In pounds, really do mean dollars. Ow. Come on. Number 55 here is good looking steer, 856 pounds. So that's exactly where we want them going in to um, <laughs> into the B team. All right, so we're gonna call this one a saver. Thirty-six weighs eight hundred eighty-two. That's a keeper. All right, we're doing great. Next up, number forty-five. Number 45 weighs 868 pounds. 87 is next. Number 87 only weighs 742 pounds. So that one's gonna skip on by too. It's not 
800 pounds yet. friend Matthew McConaughey would say all right all right all right okay so we've got these guys over here let's do a quick recap here we have bro oh, I'm gonna fall on my butt eventually okay the new B team starting here those are our new scrubs they're still scrubs they always were and then the A team is over there in the far corral these guys we all got to move back here eventually so First though, I think what we need to do is we will take our, uh, how are we gonna do this? Cause we gotta go find number 35 and number 45, get their butts in here and get them added onto the B team. So I guess that's the next thing we gotta do. I won't let it take too long. Alrighty guys, we are back out uh, with the cows where we started this morning looking for number 35 and for number 45. They've been uh, living out here obviously for quite a while. And they know how to blend in, so <laughs> hopefully we can find them. Hey, 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 who are you? Hey. 36 does us no good whatsoever. Let's keep looking, we'll find them, and then we're gonna push them up into the corrals, hopefully. Not having the best of luck out here. Let's see. I can't see anything. Okay, there's 35, right there. So you're standing up, that's the big one right there. That's 35. So where's 45? The other one's gotta be in here somewhere. There's 35 again. I'm not seeing 45 anywhere. Yeah, where are you? I'm guessing we left 45 back there somewhere, so I'm gonna try to find that one while we move some of these guys back towards home. out here with the cows I've probably driven by 45 45 times haven't seen it so we change game plans here because no reason getting upset over at number 43 who's also an open heifer right there in front of us about the same weight so we're just gonna take number 43 and get her up to where we need her. and my apologies the uh, camera died there but I did get them in eventually not even sure where the camera died but hopefully it was somewhat close I have them now in our corral we're gonna move them up and put them in with our new B team we should probably weigh them also so we'll get that done and then we'll just take everybody back home and get everybody put to bed come on gang
Come on in. 35, weighs 1,010 pounds. That's a big one. All right. And then number 41, our replacement scrub. 918 pounds, 43. All right. <laughs> that, uh, hey, go kiddo, go. <laughs> that marathon, wow, it was a marathon too, is now over. So we're gonna go ahead and load up our new B team, which is right here. We're gonna load them in the trailer, take them across, get them back first. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, guys. That's the new B team. All six of them, average weight of 882 pounds. And for them, uh, we're gonna start feeding them on a regiment of about 2% of their body weight. And then again, that's that 60-40 split between hay and our finishing corn, oats, and barley. So. Next stop, we'll run over, we'll grab our new A-team, get them put in, and then we'll drop off the rest of our scrubs. Come on. I gotta go behind you. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on, move. Come on. Come on, squeeze up there. Squeezy, squeezy. These are our leftover scrubs. They go back to Scrubsville, back to the miners, back to the farm team, whatever you want to call it. So that they can get a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, 
what a long day. Um, that uh, might very well be the most work that I've done in the last couple weeks. But it's actually nice to get something done. We've got a new A team, we've got an expanded B team, and we've got beef and pork for sale on the website to anybody that wants it. All you have to do is go to rwimonglife.com, click on beef, pork, or even bundles where Erin has put together some of her favorite bundles, including like smoker packages or steak packages, slow cooker packages, that kind of stuff. You can check that out as well. It's all online, rwimonglife.com. And we're set up now for the next, uh, let's see, these guys have 50 days left. So they're gonna go, what, March 1st? And then the next one's going May. So we're set up for quite a ways. And we have our feed figured out. We know exactly how much we need to give them for the next uh, couple weeks at least. We'll weigh them again and we'll see how they're doing. But in the meantime, <laughs> say hello to the new A team and the new B team. follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary right here on our Wyoming life. <laughs>